What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing? Um, Trump. You talk that Yang, man. Talk big, big, big Yang to, to Iran. Um, you know, he. I guess Iran, th did Iran threaten? Um, I, United States? I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he issued warnings, I guess, to the United States. Um, you know, America should know the peace is, is peace with Iran is the mother of all peace, and the war with Iran is the mother of all wars. Um, and Trump responded, tweet, he tweeted, you know, the, the Twitter king, <laughs> he run Twitter, let's, let's be honest now, uh, all caps to the Iranian President Rouhani. Never ever threaten the United States again or you will suffer consequences. You heard him. The likes of which few throughout history have ever suffered before. We are no longer a country that will stand for your demented words of violence and death. Be cautious. Be cautious. That's Trump's words to the President Rouhani. Rouhani. Um... You know, I'll state my position. I'm, I'm not for war. <laughs> I'm not for war with Iran. You know, I don't think that benefits uh, uh, the United States in any way. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, if you want to look at it, then you look who somebody else in that, some people when that, other, other countries in that region will benefit from the Iran war, uh, not solely the United States. And uh, you have to ask yourself, are we fighting, or would we be fighting a war just for that? Um, you know, um, uh, militarily, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, it would sincerely be uh, a tougher hoe to slaw than uh, slog through the Iraq. Uh, we all know what happened in Iraq, you know what I mean? But I think that would be, I think the terrain would be in much more in Iran's favor. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not for it. Uh, but, you know, you know, he's coming off a week where he looked kind of looked weak on Russia. So I, maybe he had to come out, be strong on, uh, on Iran. I don't know. Um, you know, I can't be hypocritical here. I don't want war with Russia. I don't want more with Iran. You know what I mean? It's, it's that simple. You know, I think this 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 conflict, if it ever comes about, I hope it doesn't, is in is in. Um, it won't be because of, you know, safety or whatever reason. It's, it's geopolitical interest, you know, uh, in that specifically in that region. Um, but I hope nothing comes about, I, you know, because people are going to die, you know, and it's going to be, I, it, I would say this, I would, it will be a lot tougher than, you know, I think the American people realize. You know, if a conflict between, United States and Iran ever got to like you know we we send we start invading or something like that. Um, I think it'll be a lot tougher than people realize. Uh, so I I mean and then <laughs> to be honest I don't know why we can't uh, work out and to be allies with with them. You know I mean what is what, what is the hold up here? You know I guess uh, I guess they're the wrong side of the aisle. <laughs> Our bankers have to put. <laughs> Our Federal Reserve has to be installed. I don't know. You know what I mean? We can all speculate. But, you know, um, he Trump talked, backed up this tough Tony talk on Iran. He's been like that since day one. You know, um, it is what it is. It's not like we have a choice in that matter. The only choice you, uh, the, the people have on that matter is probably Jill Stein. <laughs> you know what I mean? Other than that, you don't have a prayer. Um, it is what it is. It's the it's the deep state. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotep. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.